Christmas has come early for Sixers fans because the team has just made one of the biggest under-the-radar signings. They have added a young, talented big man to one of their two-way contracts. And when I say two-way contract, you may hear that and be like, yeah, two-way players are never any good. And I understand that, but this player I'm talking about is only in his second NBA season, was G League MVP last year as a rookie, and he dropped more points in his rookie season last year than any other first-year player. The Sixers have basically just gotten a first-round pick for free. So in today's video, I'm telling you all about the man, the myth, the soon-to-be legend that is Kenneth Lofton Jr. Thanks for checking out the channel today, guys. My name is Troy. This is the Half Court Report. Lots of new viewers to the channel with this video, so welcome to all the new subscribers. So if you like NBA news and content, click that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel as well. Would love to have you be a part of what we've got going on here on the Half Court Report. So let's get into it. Unless you are a super fan of the NBA, you probably don't know who Kenneth Lofton, aka Junior, is. Well, that's okay. I am here to educate. And to answer your question, no, he is not the son of the baseball player. So who is he then? Well, Junior was most recently with the Memphis Grizzlies for the last couple of years, but he was recently waived in a roster crunch after John ja Morant came back from his 25-game suspension. And I think the Grizzlies' loss is going to be the Sixers' gain. In 39 career games for Memphis, Lofton averaged 4 points and 2 rebounds in extremely limited minutes. He was named the 2023 G League MVP, where he averaged 20.2 points and 10.5 and rebounds, along with four assists in 17 regular season games. But what stands out immediately about Junior is that this guy is a behemoth, who is also very light on his feet. He's a skilled big man, despite being 6'7 and 275 pounds. But this guy can do a lot of different things out on the floor. His height and still developing three-point shot is why he went undrafted out of Louisiana Tech in the 2022 draft, but this guy can flat out play. Junior is a bull on the low block who uses his big frame well. He can carve out space, he punishes defenders with his size, and he has a good soft touch around the rim with either hand. He's also an aggressive rebounder and his wingspan is close to seven feet. There's plenty of evidence available to suggest that Junior can become a legitimate rotation player given time and development. Last season, in a game against the Oklahoma City Thunder, he scored 42 points. And if you dig deep enough on YouTube, you can even find film of Lofton giving Victor Wimbanyama trouble in the 2021 FIBA Under-19 World Cup. And that right there makes Junior special because NBA players just aren't used to going up against guys with his combination of size, skill, and strength. I would expect Junior to spend a lot of this season with the Sixers G League team, but you could not ask for better reinforcements at the four and five spot than this 300 pound beast. In terms of who Junior could be if he puts it all together, the first name that comes to my mind is multi-time all-star Zach Randolph. A guy who, when he played, was a bruising power forward. He was a low post savant, had soft hands, he was a solid rebounder, and was basically immovable around the rim. Junior just needs to work on his three-pointer, and he could have a really, really long career in the NBA. That's what I think, but be sure to let me know what you think of Kenneth Lofton Jr. in the comments. Since you've watched this far, be sure to drop a like for the YouTube algorithm. Click that subscribe button too so you never miss another NBA video. Check out my pinned comment. And speaking of young players making an impact, are you guys following what's happening with Trace Jackson Davis? He was a late second round pick for the Golden State Warriors. And in his recent games, he is completely turning the Warriors season around. He's getting comparisons, listen to this, to Tim Duncan, okay? He's got size, he's got skills, he's got the defense. This guy is the total package, and the Warriors, I think, have gotten them a steal. I had to do a whole video on it. Make sure you check that out. Let me know what you think, and I will catch you next time on the Half Court Report. Have a great day.